Hi everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to make this dainty lace bralette and you can see here it has a very beautiful dainty lace design. So we make this top by first making the front piece and then we make the back piece and then we combine the two sides and then we finish it up by making the straps. For this top, I'm also pairing some of my new pieces from Ana Luisa Jewelry with it. I love wearing my Atlas bracelet because the solid look with this subtle herringbone design perfectly balances the open, lacy look of the top. It also makes me feel like a queen with how beautifully gold it is. What do you all think? And finally, I'm going to need all of your help on this one. I just cannot decide which pair of earrings to wear with this top because I love them both equally. Okay, so let's start with this one, the Cuidado earrings. Look how gorgeous this is. It's so simple, but the elongated shape just sets it apart from your basic hoop earring. But I'm also obsessed with this one. It's no wonder why this is one of their best sellers. The Tota earring is stunning, and it's so different from your usual gold huggy earring. This one seriously elevates my everyday because of the cubic zirconia accent, and it's also a plus for my fellow girlies out there who only have one piercing but secretly want to. So now you see why I can't choose, but honestly, why should we have to? Ana Luisa jewelry is so affordable and all their pieces last forever, are tarnish resistant and also hypoallergenic for those of us with sensitive skin. And if that isn't convincing enough, you can also use my code JASMINET20 to save 20% off your purchase. What are you waiting for? Run, don't walk to treat yourself. So for this tutorial, I am using crochet thread and I am using a two and a half millimeter hook. So to make this bralette, you are first going to need your bust measurement divided by two. So for example, my bust measurement is 32 divided by two is 16. So if you are making a size small, you can go ahead and follow my pattern. But if you are making any other size, then just go ahead and take your bust measurement, divide it by two, and whatever measurement you get is whatever chain length we will make in the beginning. So to make this, to start the top, you are going to first need to make a chain multiple of 16 plus one. And remember your chain multiple will, your chain length is going to depend on half of your bust measurement. So again, if you want to follow mine, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven multiples of 16 plus one to get my measurement, which is a size small or a size 32. Just keep in mind that when you are making your chain length, because this design scallops at the bottom, you always want to add an extra multiple of 16 or you can add two extra multiples of 16 depending on how loose or how fitted you want your bralette to be. So again, for mine, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven multiples of 16, and then I added one. But for the purpose of this sample, I am just going to make five multiples of 16 plus one. So go ahead and make your multiples of 16 plus one until you reach half of your bust measurement, and then add another multiple or two multiples of 16 to account for the scallop design. After you've gone ahead and created your multiples of 16 plus 1, to begin the first row, you are going to chain up 1, and in the second chain from the hook, you are going to start placing a single crochet. Now for the entire row of first one, of the entire row of row 1, all you're going to be doing is placing one single crochet in every single chain of your foundation row. So go ahead and continue your single crochets all the way across and then I'll show you how to start the second row. Now that you've completed row one by placing a single crochet into every single stitch, let's begin row two. So to begin row two, you're going to chain up one and flip your work. And after flipping your work, you're gonna be placing a single crochet into the next two stitches. So this is the first one, place a single. 
and into the next place another single crochet. So that's two single crochets at the beginning. Now go ahead and chain six. And now we're going to be placing six double treble crochets together, but we will be skipping a chain between every single one. So to begin your first double treble, you're going to yarn over three times. You're going to skip the next chain and into this next one, go ahead and insert your yarn or your hook, grab your yarn. You're going to yarn over, pull over two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna have two, hook, two loops left on your hook and you're gonna leave it unfinished because like I said, we'll be placing six double treble crochets together. So to begin the next one, again, yarn over three times, skip a chain, go into the next one and complete your next double treble. So you're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you'll have three loops left on your hook. Again, we're not gonna pull through those last ones until we have a total of six double trebles next to each other. So now that you have two, go ahead and do your third one. So you're gonna yarn over three times again, skip the next chain and into the next one, begin your next double treble. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So now you can see you have three double trebles right next to each other. Let's continue until we have a total of six. So yarn over three times again, skip the next chain, into the next one, start your next double treble. That's four. Yarn over three times again. Skip the next one and into the next. Begin your fifth one. And then finally you have five and so you need to make one more. So you're gonna yarn over three times again. You're gonna skip the next chain and into the next place, your final double treble. Pull over through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now when you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook, you can go ahead and yarn over and pull through all of those loops. So now you can see you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six double treble crochets together. Now after this, go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna place a single crochet, but you're gonna skip the next available chain. So this is where our last treble was double treble you're gonna skip this next one and into the next one place your single crochet now go ahead and chain one skip the next chain and place a single crochet in the chain after So now let's begin our series of six double trebles again. So you're gonna chain six. And then you're gonna place six double trebles together. Again, you're gonna skip the first chain and every chain in between each one. So let's place our six double trebles. Skip the next one and into the first, start your first double treble. Don't finish it, again, make your next one by skipping the next and into the chain after that. Let's make the third one skip and into the chain after. Again, skip and into the chain after. So see we have one, two, three, four. We need two more. So go ahead and skip the next one and into the one after that. And one more. Skip and into the one after that. Now that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook, you can yarn over and pull through all of them. And you've created your second set of scallops.
Again, let's chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you are going to skip a chain and single crochet in the one after. You're going to chain one, skip the next chain, and into the one after, place a single crochet. Let's chain six again to begin our next set of double trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's make six double trebles and don't forget to skip a chain between each one. Now that you have your six double trebles all lined up, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can go ahead and yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. So now go ahead and chain six. Then you are going to skip a chain and into the next one, place a single, chain one, skip the next, and in the next one, place a single. So go ahead and continue to repeat this pattern all the way across until you reach the end. And then after you make your last set of six double trebles together, I'll show you how to end the row. All right, so we are almost done with row two here and I wanna show you how to finish it up. So I just placed my last set of six double trebles together and I pulled through all of those loops at the end. And so now you're going to chain six. Then you're gonna skip the next chain and in the last two chains, you're gonna be placing a single crochet each. So that's one and two. And that completes row two. Now to begin row three, go ahead and chain up one and flip your work. Now in the first two stitches, you'll notice it's the two single crochets. You're gonna place a single crochet on top of each one. So that's one and two. And now you're going to chain one. Now you're gonna be placing a total of six double treble crochets on top of the ones from the bottom. So after chaining one, go ahead and prep for your first one by yarning over three times. And then you're gonna go into this little chain right here. So you notice all of the double trebles are pointing this way and you're gonna see a little chain right here at the point and that's where you're going to enter. So go ahead and place your first double treble. And for this one, you will be completing it until the end. So you're gonna pull through two, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now chain one and place another double treble in the same little chain space. Again, chain one and place another double treble in the same little chain space. And you're gonna to continue to repeat this until you have a total of six double trebles. So don't count this one because this is the chain six from the previous row. You only have one, two, three double trebles so far. So go ahead and continue making double trebles until you have a total of six. Don't forget to chain one between each double treble. So 
So that's my fourth one. I'm going to chain one. That's number five. Chain one for the final double treble. And just like that. So now you have a total of six. Again, this one that's horizontal is your chain six, so you don't count that. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to chain one. And you're going to find the single crochet that you made in the previous row. It's going to be right here. And you're going to place a single crochet on top of that. Then you're going to see the chain one. And on top of that, you're going to chain one again. And then you're going to go into this last single crochet right here with a single crochet. So you basically just repeated what you did in the previous row by doing single, chain one, single. Now go ahead and chain one and you're going to begin your six double trebles again on top of the ones from the bottom and again you're going to go into this little chain space here right at the peak of the set at the bottom. So this little chain space right here. So go ahead and create your first double treble inside of that. Again, you're doing a total of six, but making sure to chain one between each double treble. So there's your first one, you're gonna chain one. And again, in that same chain space, you're going to be placing your second one. Chain one. That's three, chain one. That's four. Chain one. That's create our fifth one. That's five and one more for a total of six. So now you can see your little designs are coming together. Now after your sixth one, go ahead and chain one and find the single that's coming up, which is right here. You're going to place a single on top of that. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to skip the chain space in the bottom and you're going to place a single on top of the last single. Okay, let's make our six double trebles again. So you're going to chain one. And again, you're going into this little chain space right here. And let's place a total of six double trebles with a chain one between each one. That's one, chain one. Two, chain one. That's three, chain one. That's four, chain one. That's five and one more. Chain one. And that is your total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's continue to repeat the pattern. After making your sixth one, you are going to chain one and you're gonna place a single on top of the single from the previous row. You're gonna chain one, skip over the chain space, and then place a single in the one from the bottom. 
And now you're going to chain one again and you're going to complete your six double trebles on top of the one from the previous row. And you're going to continue to repeat the pattern until you reach the end. And when you make your final set of double trebles, I will meet you back to show you how to end the row. Now that you're almost at the end of your row and you've just completed your final set of six double trebles, to end the row, you're going to chain one after the sixth one. And then you're going to find the two single crochets at the end of the row from the previous row. And you're going to be placing a single crochet on top of each one. So that's one. And two. And that completes this row. Now to begin the next row, you are going to chain one and flip your work. Now in this row, you're going to be placing a single crochet into every single chain from the previous row. So beginning with the first two at the bottom, you're going to place one single crochet each. That's one and two. And then you're going to notice you have a chain space right here. So you're going to place a single in the chain space. Then you're going to place a single on top of the double treble. Again, a single in the chain space, a single in the double treble single in the chain space, and so on until the end of the row. So for this round, you're not going to be skipping any chains. You will be putting a single crochet into every available stitch, keeping in mind that every time there is a chain space of one, you place a single crochet on top of that one as well. So now you can see I've placed my single crochet at this final chain space here and I'm coming up on my single crochet. So I'm going to place a single there. And remember there's a chain space between the two singles here. So you're going to place a single crochet in that chain space. And then you can go ahead and place one in the last single. And then before you get to the double trebles, you're going to be placing a single crochet in the chain space and again on top of every single double treble. Again, do not forget the chain spaces. It may be a little bit hard to see, but it's very important that you put a single crochet into every available chain or else your chain stitches will be wrong and the rest of the project will not work. So I just placed one on my last double treble here and I have a chain space before I see my singles. So go ahead and place a single there. And then here is my first single here. So go ahead and place a single there. Do not forget the chain space. And then a single in the single. And again, you're just going to continue placing a single crochet into every single stitch until you reach the end. So remember when you get to the end, you have a chain space right here before you place your two final single crochets at the end. So now that you have finished that round, let's go ahead and begin the next row together. Now to start the next row, you are going to chain one and flip your work. Now in this row, you're going to do exactly what we did in the previous row by placing a single crochet into every single stitch that you see available. However, this one is a little bit easier because now you can see clearly where your stitches are. And you're just going to continue placing a single crochet, cr single crochet into every single stitch until you reach the end of this row. Do not skip anything. Do not place an increase. Just one single crochet into every single available stitch until the end of the row. So now that you've finished placing a single crochet into every single stitch, let's start the next row together. So begin by chaining up four. 
and flip your work. Now to begin this row, we're going to be placing a total of four double treble crochets together. This first one is going to count as the first double treble, so let's place three more. And again, we're placing them together, so we will not be completing each double treble individually. So yarn over three times. You're going to skip this first chain and into the second one, go ahead and start your first double treble. And don't complete it. So go in with your third double treble because again this first chain up of four counts as your first one. So again skip the next chain and go into the next one with number three. Do not complete that last pull. And then you're going to place one more. So skip the next chain and into the next one go ahead and place your final double treble. Okay, now that you have a total of four loops on your hook, you can yarn over and pull through all of them. So there's your first four double treble crochets together. Now go ahead and chain six. You're going to skip the next chain and into the one after that place a single. Chain one, skip the next chain and in the one after that place a single. So now go ahead and chain six. And now we'll be placing our set of six double trebles together. So it's what we did in the second row. So again, that's going to be a total of six double trebles with a chain space or with a skip chain between each one. So this chain six does not count as your first one. So let's go ahead and make our first double treble. Again, skip this first, skip the next chain, and then go into the one after that. Remember, do not complete your trebles here because we'll be placing six together. Skip the next one and into the one after. Go in with your second. Skip, go into the, side, the third one. So now you have three. Let's keep going until you have a total of six. Do not forget to skip a chain between each one. That's number five and one more. Skip and into this one. When you have a total of seven loops on your hook, you can go ahead and yarn over and pull through all of those loops. So now go ahead and chain six. And after chaining six, you're going to skip the next available chain and in the one after that, go ahead and place your single. Chain one. Skip the next one and place a single in the one after it. And again, chain six. And let's do our set of six double trebles again. So skip the next available chain and into the one after that, go ahead and place your first one. Don't complete it. Skip the next. Now you have two. Skip the next. Skip the next one. Skip the next one. And let's do one more for a total of six. Skip that next chain and into the one after. When you have your seven loops, go ahead, yarn over, and pull through all of them. Again, chain six. You are going to skip the next available chain, and into the one after that, place a single. Chain one, and a single in the one 
center. So don't forget to skip one chain between the two singles. And then you're just going to continue to repeat the pattern. So after this, you're going to go ahead and chain six again and start your next set of six doubles. And then you're going to alternate with your single chain one singles. And then you're going to continue until the end of the row. And I will meet you where you place your final single chain space single. And I'll show you how to end the row. So now that we're almost at the end of our row here, I just did my single chain space single sequence right here. And let's finish it up together. So after doing that little sequence, you're going to again chain six. And we're going to end this row with four double trebles together. So again, skip that first one. Start your first double treble. So that's one. Skip the next. Here's two. Skip the next. You have three right here. And let's do one more. And you're going to notice for the last one, you will not have a chain space between the third and the fourth. So you're going to go directly in the chain after the third one. So here's the third. There's no more chain space. It's just going to be the final single of the previous row. And that's where you'll place your fourth double treble. And now that you have four all together or five loops on your hook, you can yarn over and pull through all of them. And that completes that row. To start the next round, you're going to chain up four and flip your work. Now you're going to do a total of four double trebles and you're going to go into this little chain space right here right at the point of the double trebles from the previous row. It's going to be this small little space right here. So let's start our first one. Again, this chain four is going to count as our first double treble. So let's make our second one into the chain space. Just like that. Now you're going to chain one and let's make the third one again in the same chain space. And let's do one more. So let's chain one. And let's do a final one in that same chain space. So after you've made that set of four double or double treble crochets, you are going to chain one and then you're going to find the single crochet from the previous round. It's going to be right here. So you're going to place a single on top of that. Again, you're going to chain one, skip the chain space and place a single in the next single. Now chain one again. And when we get to this design right here, we're going to do a total of six double trebles. Again, we're going to go in this little chain space right here, right at the peak of the design. So again, don't forget to chain one after your last single and start your first double treble. And we will be completing these double trebles individually. So go ahead and pull through two, four times. So there's the first one. You're going to chain one. Let's make a second one. That's two. Don't forget to chain one. three, chain one, that's four, chain one, that's 
That's five and one more. Chain one. So now you have a total of six. So this one that's horizontal is a chain six. That does not count. But we did a total of six double trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now after your sixth one, chain one, and you're gonna find the single right here. You're gonna place a single crochet into that. Chain one, skip the chain space, and place a single on top of the next single. Again, chain one, and you're gonna be placing a total of six double trebles on top of this design right here. Go into the little chain space. That's one. Don't forget to chain one between each of your six trebles. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five, and one more. And six. Again, chain one, find the single crochet and place a single. Chain one, skip the chain space, and in the next one, place your single. Again, chain one, and go ahead and complete your next set of six double trebles. And you're gonna continue to repeat this, and I will meet you here at your final single crochet to show you how to end this round. All right, now that you're almost finished with this row, I'm gonna show you how to end it. So I just placed my final single crochet here, and at the end, we're gonna make a total of four double trebles. So you're gonna chain up one, and then we're gonna go in this little chain space right here. So right on top of the one from the previous row. So let's start our first one. So that's one, you're gonna chain one, chain one let's make the third one so now that we have three when we make our fourth one we will not be doing a single crochet chain chain or we're not going to be doing a chain space so after you make your third one go ahead and just go in with your fourth one do not do a chain space just like that so keep in mind that in the last two, you don't do a chain space and that's really important because that's gonna help keep our chain stitches the same throughout the next few rows. So now let's start the next row. You're going to chain one and flip and we're gonna be placing a single crochet into every single stitch from the previous row. So here is my first one right here. So go ahead and single crochet into that. Now there is no chain space between this treble and this treble, so you're not gonna be placing a single in the chain space, you're just gonna go straight into this next one with a single. So that is very important, do not place a single in any chain space for the first two double trebles. Now you see a chain space before the next treble, so now you can place a single in that, and then a single in the treble, Single in the chain space, single in the double treble, single in the chain space, and then you'll notice that you're coming up on your single crochet here, so go ahead and place a single. And then in the chain space, place a single crochet. And then in the next single, place your single. And then here's a chain space again before the treble starts. So go ahead and place a single single in the treble, chain space, double treble, chain space, and you're just going to continue this until the end. 
but I will meet you at the end because we are going to finish it in a certain way so that our chain stitches match every single time. So go ahead and just keep placing your single crochets into every single stitch. Do not skip one. Do not chain any spaces in between. Just place a single into every available stitch. All right, now that you're almost finished with this row, I'm gonna show you how to finish it up. So I'm coming up on my last set of four double trebles at the end, and I just completed my single crochet. So now I'm going to keep placing a single crochet, so don't forget this chain space before the double trebles. And then your double treble and then a chain space and then a double um, a double treble and then a chain space and then when you're coming up on the last two double trebles it's going to be one double treble and one chain and one chain four you're going to place one in the double treble but you will not be putting one in any chain space because there was no chain space between these first two. So that means after you put one on the double treble, you're just gonna place one final one at the top of the chain four. And it might be a little bit tight or hard to see, but as long as you're just putting one on top of the chain four and not in any chain space between the last treble and the chain four, you'll be okay. So that completes that row. All right, so now let's do one final row before the pattern continues to repeat. So you're going to chain up one and you're gonna flip and this is gonna be a very simple row because all you're gonna do is place a single crochet into every single chain that you see. And they're much easier to see this time because we just did a row of single crochets, so they're very clear. And you're just gonna go ahead and place a single crochet into every single one. Do not skip a chain. Don't put two, two singles in one just one single crochet in every single chain and you're going to continue to repeat this until you get to the end of the row and then I will show you what to do. Alright, so now that you've completed that final row of single crochets, the pattern continues to repeat from here. So. All you're going to do is continue repeating rows 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 until you reach your desired length. So you can make this as long as you want depending on how much coverage you want for the top of your shirt, but you always want to stop right below your armpit so that we have space for our arms. So make it as long as you want, as long as you stop right below your armpits, and you always want to make sure to end on a row 5. So let me show you my top. So my top here, as you can see, I repeated rows two to nine. So here's the first two to nine right here. And then the second one. So I did it a total of two times and then I kept going just so I would end on a row five. So this is the first two to nine and then the second one. And then after row nine, I kept going to end on row five. So if you want to follow what I did for mine, you can go ahead and do that. But let me show you the measurement of mine from top to bottom. So I'm going to measure from scallop to scallop. And it is about 
5.75 to 6 inches. So that's how much coverage I wanted for my top. So remember, the first part that we're making here does not cover all the way up to your chest. You're just making the part that's for the bottom and up to your armpit. So you want to make sure you determine how much coverage you want. And then, like I said, just repeat rows 2 to 9, but make sure to always end on a row 5. And then when you finish that, I will show you how to make the top part. So now that you've made the front part of your top, which was just the first half of the front part, you should have something that looks like this. So after you've completed that and this part covers the bottom of your body to the bottom of your armpit, you're going to go ahead and just chain up one. Once you reach the end, you're going to chain up one and cut off your yarn. And now we are going to work on the top part of the top, which is going to be the part that covers our chest so I'll show you here so we did just complete this bottom portion right here and now we're gonna be making the top part and it's gonna be this part right here okay so after ending on a row five you're gonna reattach your yarn and the part that we're going to make is we're just going to continue repeating rows two through nine, however many times we want to cover our chest. But before we begin, you want to make sure your top is facing the right way. So if you notice here, I'm looking at the wrong side of my top. And I know that because my design is going this way. So that's the wrong side. And if you flip it over, your design should be going this way. So it should be making an S shape. So before we begin the top part, you wanna make sure you orient your top to the right side and you can see it's making the S shape. Okay, so now we're ready to make the top part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your yarn and you're just gonna prepare a slip knot at the end. And then starting from the corner right here, you're going to count 25 chains. And that's where we are going to attach our yarn and begin our top part. So this, it doesn't matter what size you're making here. You always want to start on the 25th chain from the end. So I'll show you. So that's 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and 25. So right here. So once I've attached my hook to that 25th chain, so you can see it's after the first design and then it starts on the half of the second design. So you're gonna grab your yarn that you prepared you're gonna pull it through and you're gonna chain one to secure. Then you're gonna go back inside that same chain and you're gonna place a single crochet. And there's your first single. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna repeat row two until we end up to the opposite side of the top. So again, since we started here on half of this second design, we're gonna go like this. So here's the first design, we're gonna stop right here. So we're gonna repeat row two until we get right here. And again, row two is gonna look like this first row that we did here. So let's repeat row two together to make the top part. So remember row two begins with two single crochets. So I just placed my first single in that 25th chain from the corner. And then I'm going to place another one for my second single. So now that I have my two single crochets, I'm just going to proceed with repeating row two. So that was chain six. 
and then I'm going to be placing my six double trebles together and I'm going to make sure to skip a chain between each one. So let's begin for our first double treble. You're going to skip the next chain and go into the next. Again, this is just repeating row two, so it's something you should already be familiar with. That's two. Three. four, five, and one more to make six. Okay, so now that you have six, you can go ahead and close them all up. So there's our first design. Remember, we wanna keep going until we reach the half of the second design from the end, okay? So you made your first six, let's go ahead and chain six again. And then we are going to skip one chain and then into the next one with a single, chain one, skip one, and then into the one after that with a single, and again, chain six. And then repeat your six double trebles together. Again, here you're just repeating row two. Okay, so after your six double troubles, go ahead and chain six. skip the next chain into the next one with a single chain one skip the next one into the last one with a single oh actually since this is actually the end of our top so we've already almost reached here you are going to chain six after your six double trebles and then you're going to end row two so to, if you remember you end row two this way so you skip one and then into the next two you place a single crochet each. So that's how you end row two. And as you can see, we just repeated row two up here to make the top part of our top. And you're just gonna continue repeating rows two through nine until you get the coverage that you want for your chest. But no matter what length you choose, you want to make sure that you end on a row nine. So keep going and repeating this until you get the height you want and the coverage that you want. But no matter what size you're making, you always need to end on a row nine so we can attach our straps. So after you get the height that you want, let me show you how much I made. So I attached here and I did row two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I only did the repeat rows one time, but again, depending on how much coverage you want, you can repeat it as many times as you want, but you have to make sure you end on a row nine. So this is what mine looks like, and I'll measure the height of my top part. So I'm just gonna start right here, right at the peak, and I made mine about two and a half inches, but this part is completely up to you however long you want it but that is repeating rows two through nine and ending on row nine so now we are going to make the back part of our top and this part is super simple all you're going to need to do is repeat the first part of our top so the part that we made here without the top that covers our chest you're going to repeat it for the back part and once you have those two sides together I will show you how to close it up so again 
depending on how many rows you did for the top part and how many multiples that you did, you're gonna do the exact same thing for the back side, and then we will seam it up. All right, so now that you have made your back panel, which is exactly equal to the first part of your top panel like this, we are going to put them together now. So first you wanna make sure that you're looking at the right side up. So again, you wanna make sure that your design is making a little S shape. And that is how you know that's the right side up. So to put them together, we're actually going to put right sides together so that we'll be working the seam from the inside out. So these are both right sides up. So I'm just gonna take the back panel, flip it and put it over on top of the front. So now we are looking at this from the inside out. So now let's seam. So to begin, just prepare your yarn with a slip knot at the end, just like that. And then again, we're working from the inside out right now. So what we're going to do is start at the bottom corners right here. So once you have your bottom corners lined up, you are going to insert your yarn, your hook into the very corner piece of both sides. So this is my very corner piece right here. And so is this one right here. So find the corner piece of the back and insert. And then you can grab your yarn and begin to pull it through. So here's my slip knot. I'm just gonna pull it through both pieces like this. And then you can go ahead and chain up one to secure. Now you're gonna go into the next available chain. So it's going to be this one. And then you're gonna find the next available chain on the back side right here. And then you're gonna place a single crochet. So that's, so far we've placed two. So the first one counted as a single crochet and this is the second one. We're gonna do a total of five until we reach the design of the double trebles. So now we have two, let's continue until we have a total of five. So you find the next available chain, this is gonna be number three. And then you find the same one in the back and you single crochet, so that's three. Again, find the next available chain, this is gonna be number four. Find the next chain in the back and place a single crochet. And let's do one more for a fifth one. So here's gonna be the last chain before the double treble begins. So you go in there and then find the same one in the back and you place a single crochet. So now that you have those five single crochets, what you're going to do is chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna find the middle of the double treble design. So it's gonna be this little loop that's sticking up right here. So it's right in the middle of the double trebles. So you're gonna insert your hook there and then you're gonna grab the same piece in the back. So right here, this chain that connects the double trebles and you're gonna go into there and place a single crochet. So now that we've put the double trebles together, you're gonna to chain four again. And now we're coming up on this set right here. So these are a whole bunch of single crochets right here, and there's gonna be a total of six. So we're gonna place six double, I mean six single crochets. So the first one you're gonna find at the end of the double treble design. So here's still the double treble, and this is gonna be the first one. It's gonna be along the single crochet row right here. And then you're gonna find the same piece in the back, which is right here. And you're gonna place a single crochet. And we're gonna do a total of six until we reach the next design of double trebles right here. So let's do six singles, that's one go into the next chain and go into the next chain in the back. That's two. 
three, four, five, and one more for six. So now you can see we're on the double treble design again that's on the edge. So you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna find that little middle piece right here that's sticking up. And you're gonna find the same one in the back right here. And you're gonna single crochet. Now again, chain four and let's reach the end of this, which is right here. One, two, three, four. And then since this is my final one right here, this is also going to be a total of six double crochets and you're going to start after the double treble ends or it's going to be the end of this first single crochet row going like this. Okay, so here's that piece or that chain. And you're going to find the same chain in the back the sing at the end of the single crochet and you're going to single and we're going to do a total of six until we reach the end so that's one two three four five and then the sixth one is going to be on the chain at the very corner and then you want to grab the chain in the back for your sixth single crochet just like that and then from here you can chain one and cut off your yarn so now you can see both sides are put together so this is the front side, and then if I flip it back, this is where we seamed it. So this is gonna be the inside of our top. So again, a little recap. At the beginning, you do five single crochets, you chain four to get to the middle of the double trebles, you chain four again, then you do six single crochets, then you chain four to get to the middle of the double treble here, chain four again, and then you always end with six single crochets. So you're gonna to wanna to do whatever we did here, you're gonna do on the other side. So making sure it's still inside out, you're gonna repeat what you did here to this side. And then we'll make the straps. All right, so now that you've finished joining the front side and the back side, we're now going to work on the straps. So let's turn our top right side out. So now I'm looking at the right side and the seams are inside. So you can see from the outside it's nice and flat and you don't even see the seam that we made. So now let's make the straps, but before we do that you're gonna mark a couple of chains. So the first chain you're gonna mark is the final single crochet of the first half of the top part. So right at this join, I'll show you where. So right where we joined, so you can see this was that chain that I started my top half from. So I'm gonna mark this chain right next to it because we're gonna slip stitch into that later. And then you're gonna want to mark the back side of your top. So you're gonna turn it to the side like this. So this is our side seam right here. And this is the front and this is the back. So we're gonna mark the same spot that this part of the top is coming out of. So remember when we did the top, we did one and a half. So now we're gonna do one and a half. So you're gonna mark the halfway point of that. You don't need to count it, you can sort of just eyeball it, but just mark the halfway point because that's where we're going to attach our chain. So now let's start on the chain. So you're gonna grab your yarn and you're gonna prepare a slip knot. 
and then you're going to insert into the very corner of the top so right here and then you're just going to continue to make a chain length of your preference so you want to just make sure that it goes around your shoulder comfortably however loose you want it however or however tight I'm probably going to make a total of 75 chains and then I'll show you how long that measures. All right, so I've gone ahead and made my total of 75 chains here and I will measure to see how long it is. So it is about 11 and a half inches. So again, this part is completely up to you however long you want it but mine went up to seven and a half inches or 11 and a half inches. So now that you've made your chain of 75, you wanna make sure it's nice and straight because now we're gonna attach it to the back and you wanna make sure that the chain is straight. So take a moment to straighten it out before we attach it to the back. So now that it's nice and straight, just hold it tight like that. And you're gonna go to where you marked at the back here. So again, this was the equal side of the back part. So here's the front. And then this is where we mark the back side. So here it was coming out of the one and a half point and then you're gonna do the one and a half point right here. So then you're gonna remove that stitch marker. Then you're gonna grab your hook and you're gonna insert your stitch marker from the outside. And then you're gonna grab your chain and you're gonna pull it through just like that. And then you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna go into the chain on the left of it, and you're also gonna slip stitch into that. Just like that. So now you can go ahead and place a single crochet into every single chain of the strap until you reach the front part again, and then I'm gonna show you how we move down the front of the body. So after you've attached it, you're gonna place a single crochet into every single chain until you reach the front part of the body and I'll show you how we're going to make the border for the top. So go ahead and just single crochet into every single chain and I'll meet you at the front part. Alright, so I've almost made my way down my chain here and I'm almost at the front so I wanted to show you how to make the border for the front part. So I'm just gonna finish up my chains here. And that was my last chain before I reached the front of my top. So here's the front of my top and I'm gonna single crochet all the way down to the marker that we placed in the beginning. So if you remember, we ended on two rows of single crochets. So we're gonna place two single crochets at the beginning. So that's one and two. And then when we get to the first part of the double trebles here, along this double treble post, we're gonna place a total of four double, uh, four single crochets. One, 
two, three, and four. And then you're gonna see the little chain space that connects all the trebles. So you're gonna place one in there. And then you're gonna come up on another treble. Whenever you come up on a treble post, you're gonna place four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. So now you have a series of single crochets here, and this is gonna total six single crochets. So you go into the first one, and you're gonna place one, two, three, four, and five, and then here's that stitch marker. So actually you're just gonna place five singles, and then when you reach the stitch marker, you're gonna sing you're gonna slip stitch into that. So five singles and then a slip stitch to where your stitch marker was. And then you can chain one and you can go ahead and cut off your yarn. So now you can see the chain and then the front part of our top are all put together. So that is just one side of the chain here. And whatever you did here, you're going to repeat on this side and you're going to want to make sure you mark the appropriate side. So since you started at one and a half on the front part here, you're going to mark the one and a half point on the back. So I'm just again going to eyeball and then you're going to place a stitch marker at the end of your top design. So this is where you attach to make the top part. So that means you are going to slip stitch on this chain. When you make your way down with your single crochets, you're gonna slip stitch on this chain. So go ahead and repeat the chain strap that you did here on this side. All right, so once you've completed both straps, you wanna make sure you go ahead and weave in all your ends and that is the end of your top. All right, before you go, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and scope out your next jewelry style. You can get it for yourself or for that someone in your life. And do not forget to use my discount code JASMINET20 for 20% off. All the details are in my description box. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.